Hello students, myself Sagar Choksi from LJ Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in previous session, we have started concept of job evaluation, objectives of job evaluation and benefits of job evaluation. We, will, we have already completed procedure of job evaluation. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about another topic that is merit rating. So in this particular lecture, we are going to discuss about definition or concept of merit rating. Number two, that is objectives of merit rating. Number three, difference between job evaluation and merit rating. So in this particular lecture, we are going to discuss about merit rating concept. So let's start the lecture, lecture number 19 that related to merit rating concept. So the question is what is merit rating okay so it is the combination of two word merit and rating okay so the first question is what do you understand by merit rating okay so it is basically evaluation of the performance okay evaluation of the perform performance done, uh, done by worker done by production engineer done by quality control engineer you can take any of the example Okay, so merit rating that basically depend on evaluation of the performance. Okay, evaluation of the performance of any worker. Okay, so this is called merit rating. So now the question is goal. Okay, so what is the goal of merit rating? So merit rating extend to which an employee meet the job requirement. Okay, it generally increase your productivity also. Okay, merit rating extend to which an employee meet the job requirement. So this is very common. Third, third one and important one function. So it is basically controlling and reviewing the function. It is basically a uh, very important because it ultimately increase the performance level of the worker. Okay, so this is very important. So now what is the objective of merit rating? So, to recognize the work of the employee or of the worker whose performance is far better than other employee. Ultimately, it is the competitive environment. Okay, it, ultimately, it develops the com competitive organization and ultimately, it increases your productivity. Okay, so this is very important to recognize the work done by the employee whose performance is far better than the other employee. Okay, so this is what merit rating, merit rating that depend on performance of the performance of the worker or performance of the uh, labor. Okay, so this is very important. So move forward to next slide. So the next question is objectives of merit rating. So now here I have attached there are different objectives of merit rating. So the first and important objective is to provide a sound basis in making decision for promotion transfer okay this this is very important evaluation of the worker okay first step merit uh, first step of merit rating that is evaluation of worker and based on that on that evaluation you can manage you can promote that worker okay you can increase the salary of that particular worker okay to to check the effectiveness of recruiting, training and placement of the employee. So it is very common. Third one is to identify the key employee. This is very important to identify the key employee who will act as a key person in future expansion of business because ultimately your task is clear. Okay, to identify the key employee who will act as a key person in future expansion of the business okay so merit rating that depend on evaluation of your worker okay so this is very common fourth one and important one is to decide training need of the organization because ultimately it is a co competitive market okay so this is what merit rating okay merit rating that define your evaluation of the worker and based on that evaluation salary wages and incentive structure are decided okay this is what merit rating so move forward to next slide 
नेक्स्ट एंड इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट इज बेनिफिट ऑफ मेरिट रेटिंग ओके वॉट आर द एडवांटेज ऑफ मेरिट रेटिंग सो द फर्स्ट एंड इंपॉर्टेंट एडवांटेज इज इट इज हेल्पफुल इट इज हेल्पफुल इन मोटिवेटिंग द एम्प्लॉय टू परफॉर्म बेटर बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली we need to develop a competitive environment because ultimately it increase your productivity it increase your output it increase your profit also so this is very common it is helpful in motivating employee to perform better and better okay this is the first benefit of merit rating second and important one is it is helpful in identifying the training needs of the employee okay so this is very common third and important one is it assist in taking decision about incentives increment to be given to the worker okay this is what merit rating merit rating evaluate the performance of the worker and based on that performance you need to identify you need to determine the structure you need to determine the wage and incentive structure okay ultimately it develop a competitive environment okay this is what merit rating so these are the benefits of merit rating okay so move forward to next slide so the next one is difference between job evaluation and merit rating so in previous session we have completed job evaluation job evaluation that identify the job okay that uh, identify the recruitment process merit rating that evaluate the performance of the worker okay so this is what job evaluation and merit rating okay so let's start the difference difference between job evaluation and merit rating so the first one is job evaluation determine the job or evaluate the job merit rating evaluate the performance of the worker performance of the worker by doing the job okay so this is what the difference between job evaluation and merit rating second one is it determine suitable wage structure to the worker or, or you can take it determine suitable wage stru structure for the job number two merit rating decide the reward okay wage and incentives these are decide the reward and employee should get in addition to his or her wages depending upon his or her merit okay so this is what merit rating in job evaluation it determine suitable wage structure in this particular merit rating merit rating decide the reward process okay so the third one is job evaluation is identical for job which are identical okay and based on that job evaluation you can take the recruitment process okay on the another side in merit rating performance of the per, uh, person doing the same job may not be identical okay it it decide the incentive for the worker okay so this is what merit rating so move forward to next and fourth one fourth one is job evaluation does not recognize individual perf performance okay it does not recognize individual performance but it rec recognize wage and salary structure on the another hand rating recognize individual difference or variation within the job okay it also it also identify relative difference in individual performance so this is what merit rating job evaluation this is job recruitment process not quality checking okay not product checking on the another end merit rating that evaluate the performance of the job performance of worker okay so this is what merit rating this are the difference between job evaluation and merit rating so thank you thank you so much in this session we have completed jo, uh, merit rating concept and the difference between job evaluation and merit rating concept so in next session we will discuss wages wage structure and different incentive plan so thank you thank you very much